Welcome to another episode of Is This Disc Right For You? And in this episode, we're gonna talk about the Dynamic Disc Slammer, a very overstable putt and approach putter. Let's take a look at the numbers. Speed three, glide two, turn zero, and a fade of three. Eric, tell us a little bit more about the Slammer. Well, uh, it's, it's a pretty flat top. Every one of them that I've seen have been very flat across the top, and it's got the thumb track on it. You can, you can comfortably put your thumb track, or your, sorry, your thumb on the track, I personally don't use the thumb track. I keep my thumb a little bit further in on it. So for me, it doesn't really get in the way. I don't even notice it. I absolutely love the Slammer as well. Uh, growing up playing in Kansas, it's always windy. You know, most courses you go to, it's, it's probably gonna be windy during the tournament. And this thing will fight through the wind. And man, I absolutely love that part of it. Awesome, well let's take a look and see how it flies for myself, a casual disc golfer and a pro disc golfer like Eric McCabe. All right, so here's how the slammer threw for me. It went left, and I knew it was going to because it's an overstable putter, but it's predictable, and predictably goes left. It's comfortable in the hand when I hold it, but as you can see, when I throw it, it just goes straight left. That's not necessarily a bad thing. If, in fact, I have the slammer in my bag. I use it for short, short approach shots that I need for sure it to go left and not go too far past the basket if I overthrow it. What about you, Eric? How's it go for you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, today we were actually throwing the classic blend plastic in the, the, uh, the Slammer, and I think it's probably maybe the second most overstable run of the plastics of the Slammer. The most overstable obviously being the Lucid or the Moonshine. That disc is the one that's in my bag, and it, it did have a very similar flight to the blends. Um, I can throw it out there flat. I don't get a lot of distance out of it. It's a situational disc for me. It comes out of the bag on approaches if it's super windy out or off the tee if I just need it to fly out there and go left, maybe like a, a slightly longer slam or a, sorry, slightly longer justice for me. Uh, those type of situations is when I'm gonna be throwing the slammer, but it, it absolutely is in my bag and uh, not every round does it get thrown. It kind of depends if it's, if it's more of a wooded course, I probably wouldn't have it in the bag as much, but more open, more park style type of golf where the wind can be a factor that's when the slammer comes out of the bag. Now one of the things you didn't see us doing, even though it's a putt and approach disc, is we didn't show you uh, us putting it. And the reason is because we really feel that this is a very much a throwing putter. But Eric, there might be some situations where you might use it as a putter, explain oh, that. absolutely. Like, like we mentioned all the time, being from Kansas, it's windy. So that type of situation when the wind gets up there to 20, 30, maybe even 40 mile an hour, that's when you want to putt something a little bit more overstable like a Justice or the Slammer and that's when you're going to see more accurate flights with the putter with the putter flight out of the the, uh, the slammer absolutely all right guys well that's how it throws for myself a casual player and eric a pro disc golfer but you really need to get out and try it for yourself the best way to do that is to go to dynamicdiscom slash buyback find a buyback retail partner how the buyback program works is that you get 14 days you get to try any disc from dynamic discs west side disc latitude 64 if you don't like it within those 14 days bring it back with your receipt and we'll try to find something else that works better for you so check it out dynamic Disc the Dynamic Disc Slammer.